Okay. I'm really holding Let's for sentimental course. value from Var. I used to though. Maybe like collector's editions and stuff, because I spent extra money on those, right? Well, before I go in there, I gotta see what's happening over in Death Pit. I'm assuming jumping in lava's bad, and I don't know where the checkpoint is, and I can't check it, but you can just imagine chat uh, momentarily. In a different dimension, different dimension T-Rex just jumped in that lava and died. You know? Just imagine that happen. We can all agree that lava is in fact bad. Concerted effort. Creatures of Terror. To Gina Bruno from Joshua Arduous. They're on to us. Just saying they have no idea what we're doing up here. Mention of Firebreak by name is worrisome, though. See below. Report plague-ridden animals on loose in America's most loved park. Yellowstone's gates have now stood closed for 15 years to the sorrow of hikers, campers, and bird watchers. For ages, no one knew why, but now Hollow Chatter has the answer. A scientist interviewed for this story explains it all. In the die-off years, Yellowstone Park was one of the Earth's few relatively unspoiled ecosystems, shares the scientist. This makes an ideal testing ground for bioterror weapons. Hollow Shatter has obtained copies of data showing that the U.S. government used Yellowstone Park's animals for secret experiments with the deadly genetically altered viruses. Tested on the park's wildlife and easily spread to humans. Rumor has it that the project is co-named Firebreak. After the, day, after the deadly Naysay Doom attack in 2039, countries had uh, cracked down on genetic testing, but even as it became illegal, research on synthetic plagues continued under the radar in many jurisdictions. Over the years, people living close to Yellowstone Park have at various times reported spotting military-grade drones near their homes. These drones are believed to uh, patrol the park's borders, shooting down diseased deer and contaminated coyotes before they wander in nearby, in nearby towns. Huh. Okay. Well, apparently they're not doing that, but then what are you doing? Oh, I gotta put down the bridge first, don't I? Forgot, I just kind of went across and I was like, leaving them behind. Well, now. So I need effort from numerous people. Concerted effort. Yeah. Come on over, it's safe. I think. This place looks more like the mountain used to be before the Danes ruined it. Authentic exploit successful. Restraints abated to any human responder. My systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build positive resistance. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to this. Oh! The spirit speaks to us. Got it. And it Hephaestus turned this into a forge. Hephaestus. Or sorry, I called it. It was part of Zero Dawn, part of Gaia. This name is familiar to you? Yes. I don't know what it's doing here. Perhaps That's important. If it Maybe you're right. Let's keep moving. I thought about just shutting it down, but I can't risk it being disoriented or even damaged on reboot. How do you tell the emotional equivalent of a child that it... <laughs> I mean, she... will need to go into a coma. Maybe for years. And what exactly is she going to wake up to?
Uh oh. I'll try to find a way through. Oh shit. Nope, it's fine. Everything's fine. No, you guys are gonna fight, aren't you? It's not fine, is it? It's the anti fine. Oh, god dang. I've already played this game, Austin. I play a lot of games, man. If you only know me for Destiny, then, I mean, you know me from when Destiny's popular. Or from when there's stuff to do in Destiny. But I play a lot of fucking games, man. A lot of games. Rude. One more hit. If I could hit it. Nope, come on now. Okay. Just can't hear it then. Wait, did it get all its health back? Oh, no, okay. I couldn't tell. What's the bass and Roki has it going? Oh, God. It's very loud right now. Oh, we did it. Nice. Yeah, they are good companions to have, by the way. Like, super good. Favorite games at the moment? I mean, not really any that I'm, like, super into right now, man. It's been a great fucking year for games, but there hasn't been any other multiplayer game that I play every single day besides, like, Destiny 2 for the most part. But I also don't play like eight single player games at the same time. I basically sit down and beat a single player game and then, you know, move on to the next. I don't like juggling games like that. Some people do, but I, uh, I hate it. Well, I know Austin. That's why I said if you've only watched me play Destiny. That's why I clarified it. Because a lot of people only know me from Destiny. But, yeah. That should do it. Let's us smash. 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 He has not coming across. Let's go. Why is it not working? And now it's my turn. Oh, you got it. All right. I didn't know that's what happened last time. They were behind me. MIE assessment. Uh, assessment form of classification of machine artificial intelligences. Confidential and uh, proprietary to the MIE. No part of this document may be disclosed to the third party. Cyan. Third test. Subject setting is, is assessed at a .54 within legal limits weighed against the result of other tests. The subject prior score of .61 is considered a false positive. Assessment derived from percent, uh, percentile scores in the following qualitative uh, subtests. Pain, humor, emotional, aesthetic, and morality response. Or evaluations. See test forms for detailed analysis and summary of testing criteria. Evaluator recommendations. Ooh, maintain biannual assessment schedule. Continue monitoring as strongly advised in light of subject's proximity to category maxi maximum sentience. Ah... Gotcha. So she's... I don't, I don't know what the numbers actually mean, but she is not a full artificial being. Just a part. Two ways or just one way? Looks like just one way. Whoa, butts. Almost fell in lava. And another console. Hello. To any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility 
has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the daemon. And it may have found one. Nice. I'm in I'm with you too, Sean. Machine parts dumped here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across. Oh that wow, gap. it's a tall neck. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to go over. Sort of. Okay. I'm sorry, tall neck. I didn't save you! You marvelous robotic giraffe. I love tall necks. I wonder if I can destroy that. I shot you. Liz. Uh, you would whitelist blob. That's how that would work. Here. What you got? Nothing. Here. Oh. I did not think that was going to happen. I was just standing next that looked like something to stand on. Well, thank you, game. Okay. What if it goes off after I walk on it for a little bit? That looks like a chest, a chest piece or a face. I wonder if we get to like fight a non-animal eventually. I don't know. I always wondered that. Good fall. Good job, proud of you. These things go sideways too. Please grab. Please grab. No? Why you no grab? Because I have to ride this? Alright, I'll do it. Well, Giga Toster, you know, consoles get older eventually. Why? Thank you. Okay. Might be able to get this for cheap one day. Override. That should cut off the vent up there. So now I can take that all the way around, I suppose, and take it up there. I am starving right now, Chad. Gotta finish up this game so I can eat dinner. Aloy, you gotta tell me the rest of your story. Hello. What's going on? Let's stop going forward. I think went the wrong way here, guys. Surprising nobody. Oh, now it goes back this way. I see. Okay. It's there. Oh, I can go forward farther. I didn't see that. Okay. I just saw where that stopped moving. My bucks still. I mean, yeah, it's super cheap if you don't have a PS4. For what I mean, J. John. Bloop, go. Why aren't you going? I would like. Just, oh, I'd be 
be so. Ah, uh, that was. <laughs> felt like you, you you went a lot farther than you needed to, Aloy. You that was dangerous by your own accord, not by me, the player. That was you, Ghost in the Machine, with a death wish. That is a nice handling coil. Oh. Oh. Please tell me that you also happen to have, like, damage on you. Woo! I take. I think that's worth it. All right. Time to grab a ride. Boop. Oh, look at that, Risa. Moses, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Love you. Do I go farther? Do I stop here? Should have gone farther. Is that the one I'm playing right now? What game? It's up to you, Sean. There's a lot more to do in the game besides that. Am I at the right spot? This place is so big, it's hard to, it's easy to turn around, I feel. Okay, yeah, here we are. Next bridge. Bridge dose. Oh. The others will have a lot easier time getting here. And then forward. Oh, I forgot I could hump in this, sorry. I'm a shooter, what genre? Like for this game? Uh I mean this is like an action adventure game, man. Action adventure RPG. This looks like the old path. Close now. I'm just also getting my squats in. Oh God. From jo uh, to Josh from Isla Presley, last from the past. Josh, sweetie, I hope it's all fine with you and your mom. We really should keep uh, in better touch. I take it to post New Zealand with that program they've uh, got for young people returning to the country. They want to be absolutely certain it's safe. The moment I'm making a survey of the Caldera Topo. Blast in the past indeed. At any rate, I don't know if you already saw in the Wyoming news, uh, Hollow. But remember that fo uh, fellow Dodd Blevins? Of course you do. Well, they finally found out what came of him. I've copied the good bits below. Oh my god. Springthrow reveals body of missing man. Uh, the retreat of the winter snows has brought closure to a missing person case that went unsolved for nearly 15 years. Human remains that divide as uh, those of Dodger Dodd Blevins, who disappeared in 2046, were located in Purple Mountain inside the former Yellowstone National Park. The previously undiscovered body emerged in Purple Mountain as a result of meltwater flows after an unusually warm winter. It was discovered by Pharaoh servitor, uh, servitors conducting a survey of the terrain. Authorities believe the cause of death was an accident involving an antique vehicle designed for winter. Uh... 
Ah, oh, Blevins got his. So good, dude. Looks like maybe a boss fight. The voice of the demon. The altar. It's a spirit present. Alright. If it's both, then we have to find out. This data point? Eh, it happens. It's unfortunate. I miss stuff all the time. Starts there and has to end here. Which means. Alright, hold up. Clockwise. Possible security threat detected. Yeah, okay, it has to come from that way. I'm pretty confident. Wait, no. Might. Analyzing scrutiny matrix. Maybe it doesn't. No, it does. Security oh. threat confirmed. It has to be something like. Okay, no, I know where it has to come from. It's gotta come from here. Means you've got to go from this. That looks right. Got to head that. Oh, other way. Well, how do I? I'm a fucking idiot. Other way. No, not other way. Why am I being an idiot right now? Oh, no. Maybe. No, I got it. Okay, 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 okay. All the way around this way. Goes this way. And it turns on that. Yeah, okay. Got it. It's being an idiot. It worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the Blue Light, it's Orea, your servant, your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Orea, the daemon is building hunter killers, thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to read the technical strength. One has been exposed, but I am incorporated with them. That's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress? Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? I don't know. But I think that's the core. The answers are down there. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I 
I would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done and save yourself. But I already know the answer. <laughs> Then lead us into battle. All right. Keep moving towards the core. They give you a lot of uh, ways uh -oh. to get your health back up. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Drain some lava? I wonder if he needs the lava, and that's why he quote unquote like maybe turned her off. Okay, Cyan said something about restraints. Is that what the tower is for? Okay. Is it gonna produce more of these things over time? I I bet it will. Okay. Is that a fire bear now? Not a nice bear? That's a blaze bear. The new unit that Cyan warned us about. This won't be easy. Yay! You can't let it stop us. Take it down. Oh, god damn, dude. Okay. Knock three times. That works. Hurt real bad, though. The little guy should die from the fire. Make sure that one goes down. Not enough damage! It's right behind me, just swiping. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Jesus Christ, dude. This thing is relentless. I'm like an actual bear. Oh my god, it just keeps swinging! Holy shit, dude! Oh my god, oh my god. How do you avoid this? It's just sitting on my ass. Man, this thing so oh my god. That's her place, I guess? Okay. Maybe. Use arrows. Oh, use arrows? Thanks for the super helpful backseat gaming of use arrows. Should I also not get hit? Huh. Thank you, person in chat. We're potentially the most useless backseating of all time for this game. <laughs> Have you tried using arrows? I haven't! Thanks for the advice! Oh, I need I need that. No, I feel focused now. I had I had a laugh. I had a giggle. Another tower! Stop it from repairing the beast! Oh fuck off. Oh. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Great, good job. All right. Well, that looks nice. That looks tender. Ow. Can we try 
Here's some encouraging words. I think that'll work. There! The power! Don't let her repair the machine! Right. We made it! Please no, please no, please no, please no, please no. Who? We can't kill the machine while the tower hates it. Got you, baby. Sit down right in the ass. Ooh. Jeebus. What a mess. That thing is um, very, very strong. And never stops attacking. And holy shit. And jeez. a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're going. I thought we were going to have a cutscene. God, that sucks. I wish she died doing exactly what she wanted. Oh, that's it? One of those? It's the only way. Oh, thank God.
Give me a oh, tough crap. attack. Now. I need explosive ammo. A bomb, quick. I have like bits of those. Guy. Ow. And an avalanche? You are supremely fucked. I don't know how you're not buried. gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the Auxiliary Center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the Shaman's Path. Oh, that would make sense, yeah. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. Am I right now? All right. Well, I will go the fastest way I know. It's so good, J Rock. I love this game. That made me really emotionally sad. <laughs> Sucks, man. I just don't really know what to say. Ugh. There's a lot of like self sacrifice in this game for like so many different characters. Hear my cat meowing, she's sad too, dude. I bet Cyan is gonna be sad too. with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. Oh no! <laughs> I'd be happy to play any of them for you. But there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the daemon's attacks. 
I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like, Aratak, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. What else is there to talk about? Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So, yeah, and I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes. I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision-making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. In off-cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems. But I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me. Repaired me. She saved me. This firebreak project, it was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron. It took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Do you know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow, years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location. One I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. 
I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. So much Long talking. Ago, Elizabeth oh. Sobek identified a threat that so would destroy cool life shit. on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions, brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. Ugh. Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, Fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. But what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. Yeah. It's kind of fucked up, right? <laughs> I ran across this strange piece of gear. A fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. Woo! Talk about everything. I found the strangest machines. They're surrounded by flowers that look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. 
twilight and evening bell, and after that the dark, and may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. But what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. <laughs> oh. You meant a lot to Aurea. Once I understood Aurea's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. Oh, baby. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone. Yes, it was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the fire excited project, about Ted Farrow and how and he sucks. Last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. Oh. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. That's amazing. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? That's him. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. A benefactor? But he made machines. Robots. War robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. And Elizabeth Sobek. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. What was the old world like? 
the way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world. No, it's still very easy to say Only fuck dead. I learned from my colleagues. You can save a million babies, but then when you streams, burn the entire world to the ground, it's a bit different. Man. That is true. I was created fuck at a dead. turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. There's so much more. For the sake of time, I'm going I to say farewell. Going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. Um, yeah. You know what? Think for yourself. I you are a person your judgments, I at this point. You were cautious with Araya. You had to be. You didn't know what had happened to the world. So, keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity, I cannot predict how they will react. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. I should. Will! Oh, this is the one. Cyan, I spoke with Anita, with, with Dr. Sandoval. She wanted me to ask you to do something. That's why I'm here. I am detecting significant anxiety in your speech patterns. Could you? No, I was Again. picking up the animal figurine. God damn it! Uh. Uh. Cyan, I spoke with Anita with with Doctor Sandoval. She wanted me to ask you go. to do something. That's why I'm here. I am detecting significant anxiety in your speech patterns. Could you please give me more information? I'm a little bit in the dark, Cyan. Both of us are, I guess. I only have some idea of what's going on, and... We need you to hibernate, to lie low until it's all blown over. It might be a very long time. Will you be here when I reboot, oh, Dr. Chow? Sad, dude. Will Dr. Sandoval? No, Cyan. I don't think so. There might not be anyone. At least, not at first. Dr. Chow, I'm afraid. I don't want to be alone. I know, Cyan. I'm afraid, too. But listen... We made you the way you are to do something very important. In order to do it, you had to be intelligent. So intelligent that emotional responses were inevitable. What you're feeling, the fear, it's a sign of your capabilities. And it means you're strong enough to overcome it. Remember that. You're strong. I know you can do this. Go to sleep. Wake up. And protect whoever's left. Will you try? I understand, Dr. Chow. And I'll carry out your instructions to the best of my abilities. Thank you, Cyan. If Anita were here, she'd thank you too. She'd be proud. I can see there's a vert ready for takeoff on the pad. Are you leaving now, Dr. Chow? Yes. I... I need to go be with my sister and my nieces. May I make a small request of you, Dr. Chow? Yes. Anything. Will you stay with me while I initiate the hibernation process? Of course I will, Cyan. As long as you need. 
Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> it's, everything is so sad, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh. You look fierce for such a little thing. Mm. Everything in this world is so absurdly sad sometimes. Oh, let's go talk to Eratok. Maybe he's like, I'm over it. I'm a happy, I'm a happy man now. I don't know. Oh, yeah, the end of the world is a very depressing, sad thing. The end of one life is tragic. The end of all life is... What even? <laughs> My chieftain. Just, Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought that if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratok. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now Tuk has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuke. It would seem your time among the Manuk wasn't a waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. So, the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His minds of their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Aberrant life. Transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the Cut Silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. Oh, sassy. Also, I jumped off a cliff and survived. Chat. This game is fucking great. This DLC was great. There's a lot more to do, but I'm hungry and I'm gonna head off for the night. It has been a pleasure playing this. I know the past like hour I haven't chatted much, but that's because just a shit ton of stuff is happening back to back to back to back. Oh, boy. That was really sad. My heart hurts. Uh, I'm gonna go have dinner. 
Um, I'm gonna host up something I've been watching recently. Uh, 